Hey guys, and welcome back to another speed paint. And sorry, my mic is doing something weird now. Uh, <coughs> so this time around, uh, I, you're gonna see me draw a realism piece. This is my leopard drawing, the one you kind of got a little sneak peek of in my last drawing update. Um, but before I get to talking about this drawing, I want to tell you guys where I got my reference photo. Yeah. So I got my reference photo from a photographer on DA, and she is absolutely amazing. Um, I'm not going to say the name here. I'm going to make it pop up in text instead because I cannot pronounce this name. I am sorry. But anyway, um, I found her gallery, and it just blew my mind with all the amazing photos she has of just all sorts of animals. And I asked permission, of course, to use her photos as references for my work, and she has graciously allowed me to do so and for that I am just extremely thankful and of course I will leave links to her gallery in the description down below there will also be a link that will take you directly to the photo that I referenced this drawing from uh, if you guys would want to see that so I really do suggest you go check her out and you know if you can support her that would be awesome um, but yeah really 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 amazing love her work <laughs> Anyway, let's get to the drawing. So, as you can see, I'm working with my polychromos. This is a first for me. I am trying out color pencils and just color pencils. Yeah. Um, and for the background, I don't know if you noticed in the beginning of this video, but the background is just free-handed. I did not go in with a sketch, and that is kind of how this drawing came to be. I just decided to draw this on a whim. I just wanted to, you know, try out my color pencils, see what I could do with them, with the materials that I have uh, currently, and just, just have fun with it. I wanted to just play around, and that's exactly what I did, and um, it was very much a learning e experience. It was very, very awesome, and I did have a lot of fun with this drawing. Um, it didn't end up perfect but then again when I went into this drawing I had very very low expectations so I'm still extremely happy with how it turned out um, like I said I didn't do a color study or anything I just you know I just tried things out and experimented and I had a great time with it also for the first time in my life I actually sought out uh <laughs> I actually sought out tutorials or uh, I, uh, I don't know what to call them I watched some videos from an artist here on YouTube called Larkery Fine Art. <coughs> she draws a lot in color pencils, and her advice for, you know, noobs with color pencils was very helpful. Um, <coughs> dear God, I got something stuck in my throat. It's really annoying. <coughs> anyway, sorry. <coughs> anyway, so um, I know I'm working with the wrong kind of paper for these uh, color pencils, and also uh, the polychromos do not do well on their own. Well, they can do okay on their own. However, it would be very, very nice to have some wax-based pencils that are a little bit more opaque to uh, go along with the polychromos for finer details to get really, to really get the details and get some awesome effects in there. Um, I don't know why there is a white polychromos. It doesn't make any sense. Uh, the white pencil doesn't do anything. It can't draw on top of any of the other pencils at all. It just doesn't lay down any color whatsoever. So there's really no point to that pencil. That is, that's really what. What were you thinking, Faber Castell? You might as well give two blacks in a set. I would be very happy with that. But the white one, I can't use it. Um, so I might invest in some other color pencils to go along with the polychromos. Uh, though that's gonna be that's gonna be some time in the future. I can't afford to right now. But um, I definitely want to work more with color pencils. I just had a great time with them, and uh, like I said, I. I still got a better, I got a better drawing out of it than I expected, um, because I really didn't think, I didn't think this paper would be able to take as many layers as it did, uh, but it wasn't able to take enough layers to get rid of that really grainy look of a colored pencil, um, but it came pretty close, and like I said, I'm, I'm very happy with this, I like my color choices, and, and yeah, I learned so, so much from this drawing. Um, <coughs> so yeah, that's, <laughs> that's really awesome. It was, it was just one of those really, really cool drawings where you just, it's like it draws itself, almost. I mean, I did get frustrated a couple of times, uh, 
Well, actually, I got frustrated at the very end because my my whiskers, I tried to leave them out as much as possible because I knew the white polychromos pencil would not be able to draw on top of the other colors. Um, so I tried leaving them out, but it was... Oh god, they looked so awful. Uh, they looked just lumpy and weird. So uh, in the end, I do go over it with a gel pen to try and fix the white lines and whatnot, but my gel pen is not the best in the world. It does not draw very well, especially not on top of the polychromos. I mean, oh my god. It took me almost an hour just to get the whiskers in because I had to draw and see if I could get that stupid <laughs> stupid gel pen to actually, actually, you know, draw. And then I had to leave it for a while, let it dry, and then draw over it again, and let it dry, and draw over it again. Well, you guys get the point. Um, so yeah, that was that was kind of frustrating, but other than that, I think this drawing went pretty smooth, and I I did enjoy drawing it very, very much, and I learned so much from it, and I really look forward to trying again with color pencils. Um, I might want to go out and invest in some different paper first, though, and... Like I said, I would love to get some, maybe the Luminous color pencils. Yeah, they are very, very pricey, but they are also very, very good. And I really want them, so I'm going to try and save up for them. Um, so yeah. Anyway, I guess that's about it for now. I'm not going to totally overbabble this video. Hopefully. I already have, haven't I? Never mind. I'm going to be streaming tomorrow night as per usual. Um... And if I don't see you guys there, then I will at least see you next week. And I hope you guys have a great weekend and that you stay creative. Bye!